Kim says she is thinking of a number that's greater than 17. Her number is an odd number. Which of these numbers could be Kim's number? So let's just sketch out Kim here. So here's Kim. Say hi to Kim. And she's thinking of a number. And the number she's thinking of, right, we'll think about it in a little bubble over here, has to be something that's bigger than 17 and is odd. So what could she be thinking of? Well, first thing I would do is list out the numbers. I'll write them down here. 17 is 17. Of course it is, right? But she's thinking of a number that's bigger than or greater than. Because greater than means bigger than. So a number that's bigger than 17 is a number like 18. Right? And so is 19. And so is 20. And so is 21. All these numbers are bigger. Right? 22, 23, 24, and 25, and 26, and so forth. All of these numbers are bigger than 17. So we want to know which of these could be the number Kim's thinking of. Well, she can't be thinking of 17 because she's thinking of a number that's bigger than 17. So we cross that one out. And also, we, we know she's thinking of an odd number. So which of these numbers are odd numbers? Well, the first thing I'm going to do to help you out is I'm going to, I'm going to circle all the odd numbers. And then I'll tell you how I kind of find odd numbers. That might really help you out. So all of these numbers are circled in red are odd numbers. And how do I know? Well, if I start counting up from zero, and I count up to two, and four, and six, and eight, and ten, basically if I skip count by twos, I'll get all the even numbers, right? 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, right? All of these numbers I'm circling here in blue are, are even. So basically an even number is something that is is a multiple of two. In other words, if you skip count by two, you get all the even numbers. You start at zero and go up by two, up by two, up by two, and so forth. That gets all the even numbers. All the numbers between the even numbers, like one and three and five and seven and nine and 11 and 13, those are called odd numbers. So an odd number is something that's either one bigger or one smaller than a number when you skip count by two, right? It's a number that's you can't divide by two evenly. Every, every even number can be split in two parts equally. Like 18, I can cut that in half to 9. 20, I can cut it in half to 10. 22, I can cut it in half to 11. 24, I can cut it in half to 12. And 26, I can cut it in half to, thir to 13. So if you take a number and you cut it in half, and you still have another like whole number and no fraction or anything, that's an even number. But all these odd numbers, like 19 and 21, try cutting them in half and you get something with a little bit of a decimal or like a fraction. So they don't get a whole number. Anyway, we know she's thinking of a number that's bigger than 17, and those are these numbers right here. But it also has to be odd. In other words, it has to be a number one bigger or smaller than a, a multiple of two. So like 19 or 21. So we can cross these numbers out. It can't be even. I think of odd as the opposite of even, and we know she's thinking of an odd number. So she can be thinking of any of these numbers that we circled in red. Let's look at our list. Out of these numbers right here, the only one I see that matches is the number 25, right? Because 15 is not bigger than 17, 16 is even, and 26 is even. So the number she's thinking of is 25. Now, if you don't want to sit here and write all the numbers out, we could use the choices to figure out what's happening. We would cross 16 and 26 out right away because they're both even. But we can leave 15 up for a moment because it's odd, but cross it out because it's less than 17. So the only one that's available here is 25. So Kim's thinking of the odd number 25. Thanks.